I've been in EMS for 30 plus years and this was a, a disease. Who cares? I've been through it. What was this going to do? This was nothing different. Was I wrong? People would get sick and they would get better. And then we were finding about six weeks later, there were people having strokes and heart attacks. And I remember seeing several young people. And I, when you think of stroke, you think of 70, 80, 90 year olds. And I'm talking 20 and 30 year olds um, having a stroke. There's one in particular happens to be in our department that had a stroke, a young guy at work, came to work in uniform, was checking his truck and a couple weeks post COVID had a stroke. And thank God he was just cleared the other day, 100% deficit free from having that stroke. I um, nursed 22 years and kind of went back into the um, outside of the hospital about two years ago becoming an MICN. We had um, a patient that he was really, you know, like so anxiety ridden and he, he had himself like written off like he was dead. And I was like, no, 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 this is not happening. Not on my watch, not at all. I sat there with him the entire ride to the hospital, I held his hand and, you know, try to talk him through it. By the time we got to the hospital, you know, he thanked me and he was like, you know what, he goes, you, you really feel like you've given me a chance. And I was able to kind of turn him around and he was discharged from the hospital two days later. There are lots of patients that stick out, but for different reasons. They want to speak to their families but there are also people that, you know, will speak to you like they're your family. It's those kinds of people that just, it, they make the job. I learned that although I have this hard shell exterior and then I'm able to face the problems that are out there, I learned that um, being alone, isolated from your family is the worst thing, the worst thing. I have a son, um, which is me and him now, and. Uh, it's, you know, I live for him and I tell him that, uh, you know, we're taken care of, you know, we're taken care of and we're good. Yes, we always got to be aware of things going on, um, but to always keep faith. I actually moved out of my house for a little while, so I didn't have to keep coming home and exposing my family to what possibly could happen. I thank my family for being patient and being able to put up with on the days that were long and tough, you need to care about the other people more than you're caring about yourself in the moment. Being a paramedic is the best job in the world. I couldn't think of not putting on the uniform, and I couldn't think of not rushing in to help. We're a pretty close-knit group, and we kind of all lean on each other, and we're all there for each other as well. Everyone kept their spirits up, and we just kept chugging, we kept pushing. We're gonna be remembered, you know? Remember when COVID hit, all the, EMS, you know, medics, EMTs, all the doctors, nurses, how hard work we did. And, you know, we went through stuff, but we, we're coming out.